This is the graded coin box break. We're going to start off with a filler with four runners and two winners. It's a 30 second sprint type of filler here. Wishing you the very best, everybody, in this break. Yeah, Frank and Michael and Lisa. And good luck in the filler to y'all. So let's see who's got some speed. Seven times for the shuffle. Lucky number seven. All right, on your mark, get set, go. Michael D's out front in the blue number two. Here comes Lisa. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, there you go, Frank. Wow. Congratulations. You have you have just ran your way right into a box break. And it's actually worth two spots. So let's start up the big random, my friend. That was filler C, everybody. And in this particular break, you get two dates. So uh, we're going to double the uh, owner names. We're going to we're going to have our dates, and in this one, you get uh, checklist dates. And um, if it's not a date that is listed here, then it just goes to random between everybody. Okay. A lot of times that happens uh, because there's so many possibilities in this. Um, some of the biggest hits are actually from the 1800s. Anyway. Seven times through... The owner names, first random. We're going to random each list seven times. All right, here's a lucky number seven for the first list. That is finished going through the randomizer. Seven times, my friend. Lucky number seven. Good luck. Oh, this is very exciting. Let's get a big hit. I hope we pull something terrific. Oh, you just never know. I mean, sometimes it's, it can be some pretty big hits around here. <laughs> 
we get some monster hits. Good luck in the break. Graded coins. What do we have here? MS 65, 19.67 cents. Well, that's about as pretty a penny as you'll ever see. 65 is owned in the break. Sixty-five. Roy hits this thing. Congratulations, Roy. RD is is uh, referring to the color. This has a particular hue uh, that makes it a little more rare than your typical coin. Uh, it makes it pretty rare. So this this being a red minted coin it's got a red hue to it and it makes it very rare like if you had a bunch of pennies or coins laid out uh since this would be like really peculiar you know what i'm saying like it, it would look different from all the rest like right now it's hard to tell but if you laid a bunch of them out you say oh man what is this <laughs> So I wonder where this is minted. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it right now. But it should have a mint mark on it. And I think it's right there, as a matter of fact. On his shoulder, if I remember correctly, with scents. Or may, uh, we, should, we should be able to see a mint mark. I'm not seeing it though. Did you know on a lot of coins you can see Abraham Lincoln right in the middle? Did you know that? Sitting on his chair, there's Abraham Lincoln. Like right in the middle, of, in between those two pillars is the the uh, the seated Abraham Lincoln. And you can only see that on very, very good coins in great condition. But you can actually look in between the pillar and see, see Abe. I'm kind of disappointed I wasn't able to see the mint of where this is minted at. But it's a great coin. It's a nice hit. And a big congratulations to Roy. Who? It might be below the year where the mint is shown. I'm trying to remember. Maybe this year just didn't have a, a letter for the mint. I don't know. Anyway, cool stuff, Roy. Way to go. <clears throat> well, I'll just find that out. I'll find out more about that, Roy. I'll see if I can tell you where it's minted in a little while. But moving things right along here. We're getting ready for the next break. You know, we've got a lot of great stuff coming up. So let's see what happens. Way to go. Big thumbs up, Roy.